back in school teaching you and working here with your friends in the classroom. Everyone here in the classroom, say hello and Happy New Year. Hello! this 2021 goals page. Now, as you know, last week we celebrated New Year's Eve and it brought us into this new year. I know many people are very optimistic, very hopeful about this new year. We know that a lot of icky, gross things happened in 2020. I try to look back and focus on the good things that happened in 2020. And I encourage you to do the same. But at the beginning of a new year, now 2021, it's always a really good idea to set some goals for yourself. Now, who can tell me what a goal is? <coughs> Excuse me. Austin, what is a goal? A goal is something that, like, like you want to learn. Okay. And, like, you want to be a, um, like a professional at soccer. Awesome. He said it's something that you want to learn or something that you want to do, and I completely agree. So a goal is when you take something that you can't do or you don't do well, and you say, I want to practice this. I want to get better at this. I want to do this. And so we are going to set some goals for 2021. These are things that in this next year... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, October, October, November, December. In this next year, these are some things that you would like to accomplish or achieve, get done, or be good at, okay? So the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write down my name. Now, friends at home, we were discussing today in the classroom how in just a couple of weeks, we will be moving into the second half of our school year, which means we are getting closer and closer to second grade. And so our work should start to reflect that. I should see neat handwriting, nice coloring, uh, quality work, okay? So what you will do after you have your name on this paper is go through, there are one, two, three, four boxes on this paper, and you want to use your best handwriting and your best drawing on these. Not only will I hang these up in the classroom for a while for us to remind ourselves daily of our goal, but these will end up going in your writing binders at the end of our school year. And so you really want to make sure that you do a nice job on this because it's something that when you're 25 years old and you sit down to show your kids your writing binder, they're going to see it. Okay? So the first box here says, I want to read. I want you to set a reading goal for yourself. Now, there's different ways that you can do that. Maybe your goal for reading is, I want to read every single day in 2021. That's an awesome goal, and that's something that you can work for. Maybe in 2021, you want to be able to read chapter books. And so your goal is, I want to read chapter books. Maybe there's a specific book you've been really wanting to read. Oh, I've been really wanting to read those Geronimo Stilton books. So in 2020, I want to read those books. Maybe you just want to read better in 2021. So maybe your goal in 2021 is to become a better reader. So it says here, I want to read. On this line, you're going to write your goal. Becca, do you have a question? So I read a book. It's a long book and there's a blue near it. So first... I love that. So Beckett wants to, he's in the middle of reading a book that has a movie. What book is it? Do you mind? The Hobbit. Oh, The Hobbit. So he's going to read the book first and then watch the movie. And that's a great goal too, Beckett. You could say, I want to read books that have movies because then you can read the book and watch the movie. That's an awesome goal, okay? So you decide what you want your reading goal to be. And on this line, you'll write it, okay? So let's pretend that I decided that I want to be able to read chapter books in 2021. So on the line, in my best handwriting, because a lot of people are going to see it. Noah, please sit down in your chair. I'm going to write chapter books. And if you write on the line, make sure you're bumping the lines. You should be able to fit your goal. If you run out of room, you can squeeze it in underneath. That's okay. So I want to read chapter books. Now, what do you think I'm going to do in this empty space here? 
Austin, draw me a picture of me doing what I want to do. Draw a picture of you doing what you said you want to do. So I said I want to read chapter books. So I'm going to draw a chapter book here. Why do you draw so good? I know. <laughs> okay, okay, so here's here's my book, and now I'll draw myself here. Why do you draw so good? All right, I want you to take your time and do nice drawings and color them in. I'm just drawing quickly, okay? So in this box, you're going to draw your goal for your reading this year, okay? Down here in this box, it says, I want to learn. Think about something that you want to learn how to do, and it could be anything. Maybe you want to learn how to tie your shoes, because for some reason, you never learned it in kindergarten. That's an awesome goal. Learn how to tie my shoes this year. Maybe you want to learn how to bake cookies. Maybe you want to learn how to multiply numbers. Maybe you want to learn how to make slime. slime. Maybe you want to learn how to play soccer. Whatever you want to learn, and it's going to be different for each person because we all have different things we want to learn, okay? So think of something you want to learn how to do, put it on this line, and then draw me a picture. So this box is some a goal for reading. This one is a goal for anything that you would like to learn, okay? Down here at the bottom, this one says, a new food I want to try. Now this should not be a food that you eat every day because that's not a new food you'd like to try. Maybe you've never had spaghetti or you had it when you were little and didn't like it. And maybe you want to try it and see if you like it this year. Maybe you want to try something a little more exotic like calamari, which is one of my favorites. Does anyone know what calamari is? I love it. I love it. Do you know what calamari is? It's the best thing ever. It's fried squid. And yeah. it's delicious. No, Maybe it's so you want to try lasagna. Oh, guys, cake crunch. Boys and girls, let's put our focus back on the board, please. Victoria, Matt's go. Tension on the board. Sorry about that, friends at home. We got a little excited about calamari. Uh, maybe you've never had peanuts and you want to try peanuts. Maybe you've never had a hamburger. Think of a food that you would like to try. And on the line you'll write what that food is. And then in the box you'll draw a picture of yourself trying that food. So we have what I want to read, what I want to learn, a food I want to try. Now I waited to go over this last box because I want to explain what this last one is. This last one says a personal goal. Now your personal goal means it's personal to you. That means it's a goal that you want to set for yourself, something that you want to do better. And it could be something like, my personal goal is to not lose any dojo points for a whole week. And you can try that each week. Try to make it a whole week without losing a dojo point. That's an awesome personal goal. Maybe your personal goal is you want to um, make a three-point shot from the three-point line. Maybe your personal goal is you want to be able to do a backflip on your trampoline. Maybe your I never do that. Maybe your personal goal... I know, I uh -oh. uh oh. Maybe your personal goal is to get all of your homework turned in on time for the rest of the school year. Maybe your personal goal is to make your bed every morning before you go to school. Maybe your personal goal is to listen to mom and dad the first time they tell you to do something, every time they tell you to do something for the entire year 2021. Yes. yes. Faith? Um, maybe, um, your personal goal is to try to be a teacher when you grow up. To try to what, honey? 
be a teacher when you grow up. Oh yeah, That's so Paige said that she, when she grows up she wants to be a teacher, so maybe her personal goal is to learn more about being a teacher this year. Austin? Your personal goal could be that you wanted to make a birthday cake. Okay, you want to learn how to make a birthday cake. Now this is something that you will, I want, it's a goal for 2021, okay? So it's not something that you're going to do in 20 years. It's not something you're going to do in 10 years. It's something you're going to be able to do this year. My goal is to... Make more friends. Oh, I don't know. Make more friends. Make more friends. That's a good goal. My goal is to go down the water slide at... You can. Disney World. You can <laughs> Disney World. <laughs> um, you you decide your personal goals. You can now, this is where it gets... Uh-oh. We are really chatty today, and I know we haven't seen each other in a couple weeks, so I'm trying to be a little lenient, but I also do need you to realize, Serafina and Amelia, that we're in school, okay? After you're done drawing and writing all of your goals, you need to color this entire page. There's a lot to color on here. We've got numbers to color, balloons, borders, frames, swiggles, hats. Down here we've got some streamers and confetti, some firecrackers. We've got these people here. And then whatever you draw, you're going to color as well. Take your time on these. I'm going to give you a lot of time to make these look really nice, okay? I don't want you to rush. All of these little frames around the pictures can get colored in. You can really do a nice job making these look great, okay? I can't wait to see these. Friends at home, if you would, when you are finished with these, you can upload a picture for grading, but send these back in because Mrs. Hatcup and I will add these um, not only to our bulletin boards in our room, but we will add them to your binders for the end of the school year as well. So make sure this comes back to school, okay? The rest of you, when you finish, you will turn it in to me and I will get them hung up on the board. See you later, friends at home.